Spring break 2019 is off and running. Always a fun time for thousands of students and other visitors who will be spending time on the island beaches and enjoying our other attractions. But for those who already live on the island, it can mean having to make some adjustments. Our Michelle Pedraza is out live on the island tonight with more on that. Michelle. Well, Joe, this time of year means plenty of business for surf shops, but for locals I saw out here, they're trying to take advantage of a spring break free beach. We really enjoy our beach, you know, and we like to come here on Friday nights and you can see it here. It's just us. Well, spring break means beach time for some. For island residents Jennifer Seymour and Jennifer Taylor, it means hunkering down. We chill out and take it easy because the island is normally overtaken by a whole bunch of outsiders. The two are enjoying one of their last Fridays on the sand with their families. We don't come to the beach, so I guess this is kind of like our party before their party gets here, you know, so because we're not going to be able to come here for another week or so. They also don't enjoy overcrowdedness in stores. Everyone goes to the HEB beforehand because otherwise we would be in a lot of long lines. Or on the roads. The drunk drivers and stuff like that, you know, we're not interested in having that. You know, we do want it to be safe for our community. While it may be a downside for residents, Padre Islanders store managers Jackie Siller and Deb Hilliard say it's a time for them to reel in profits. Well, the beach is sort of our, our thing to do here and um, with tourism, locals, uh, this is what you're looking for when you come out to the beach. A one-stop shop before hitting the beach. Beach parking permits to clothing and shoes to souvenirs. Spring break is our kickoff. Well, if we have a good spring break, that means we're going to have a good summer. The seasonal business has been preparing for the crowds for several weeks. Now, CCPD is expecting lots of traffic on the road, so if you have to go out there, just make sure that you are careful. If traffic is backed up, they will have to physically come out and do traffic. For now, live on the island, Michelle Pedraza, 3 News. Bonfire going there behind you. Okay, Michelle, thank you. And as the spring crowds, spring break crowds hit the beach, police do have a few ground rules to keep in mind. Once again, dogs will not be allowed on the beach from Access Road 3 to Zahn Road. That's on the north side of Packery Channel. As usual, no glass containers are allowed. Wooden pallets are banned as well. Don't leave trash behind, and minors, of course, cannot be in possession of alcohol. That's a big no-no. If you plan on driving on the beach, remember the speed limit, 15 miles an hour, and you still have to follow all the traffic rules.